the best yogurt I've ate was my mother's. So I knew I couldn't make that, but can I make the one that closest to it? And I think we do. I don't think there is a recipe that you can say, here's the things that you have to do to make things a special place. But there's one reality that is, if you are real, as an individual and a company and, and what you do, it's not just you're bragging and telling things about in the marketplace. If you're really real at home, that real being that transcends into something magical. We started in end of 2007 with a dream of America needs a better yogurt. And we started with the five people in a factory in upstate New York. And that dream today became number one brand in the country. We are over 2,000 people strong. And actually we make yogurt every day, but what we want to do is make the world a better place. There's been a lot of change, but there are certain things that will never change. No matter how big we get, no matter who we partner with, we're never going to change the way we make our food. We're never going to put artificial sweeteners in, thickeners, colors. We're never going to make anything unnaturally. We are telling the food industry as well, our supplier, to make the product more simple and being more simple, even better in terms of taste. We take our jobs very, very seriously. We couldn't put out the product we do if we didn't. But we also believe in having fun, having a good time with each other, making friends, and putting out a really good product. Making yogurt is craftsmanship, and making Greek yogurt is extreme craftsmanship, because it's the most complicated product in the family of dairy products. We don't make food just in a mass way. It's really making a lot of it but it's never different from the day one when we made a very small batch. We have put processes and procedures and trackers and all kinds of things in place to make sure that we produce the perfect cup every time. So even in the box, how the box is printed, that's maybe just gonna get ripped open for the cups to be put on the shelf, that has to look right. It's down to every little detail. Everybody wants to come to work for Chibani. Inside the plant, you have the energy of people wanting to do the right thing all the time. They're selling that product even in the grocery store. I've even pulled out my wallet and paid for people's yogurt so they try Chibani. No matter where we've gone, how broad we are, we continue to be the same company I think that Hamdi started in upstate New York. You know, his vision, his love of the craft of making yogurt has been passed on to every person in this company and I, I don't see that changing no matter how big, no matter how broad, how many places we open up. This is not a repeat of all these things that have been done before. We're gonna make it better food, we're gonna make it in a better way, we're gonna make it for everyone and we're going to compete. We, we never thought about you know, selling this in the fancy places only. We wanted to make this to everyone. We wanted this to be a people's yogurt. Good food is a right, not a privilege. And so if we can be the company that not only does that, but also inspires others to do that, it's a hell of a noble mission. If you are in upstate New York, if you are with the farmers, if you are in Idaho, if you are in the around the factory, there's one common thing among these people. They're very real. We have a lot of knowledgeable people that put their heart and soul into this place every single day. The people are the business. Every single day, people are trying to do the best that they can. We just love Chibani. We are like a family here. I'm proud to be a part of Chibani. I'm proud of what we stand for. I think there's a magic in all the Chobani's areas, these human qualities, that we wake up every morning and we go to work that we do something that we are extremely proud of, that we are part of this team, this company, this idea that makes us to get better. Those things never changed, and it will never change.